The Corn School on RealAgriculture.com is brought to you by BASF and Pride Seeds. One of the more traditional tools in production agriculture is the S-Tine field cultivator. It has some characteristics that are unique to it. Uh, they typically have or create far better seed beds, finer seed beds than other types of cultivator, cultivator shanks, like a fixed shank. So they're very active, a lot of vibration. In a, a backward spring, a spring that's cold and wet, these implements can be very useful because they are able to work at very shallow depths. The tine spacings can be typically four to five inches and the, the, the uh, wear parts usually three to three and a quarter inches. They actually vibrate in an egg-shaped fashion, uh, which provides pretty good weed control uh, at high speeds especially. They're designed to run at speeds of seven to nine miles an hour, so uh, you're able to cover a lot of acres per hour, and you're able to set them so that they can skim just above, above the cold, wet layer of soil that, that you don't want to bring up. In other words, you can basically work in the crust, release that excess moisture down below and warm it up and then follow it uh, within a few hours normally with your seeding equipment. One of the key features of this particular cultivator is that we're able to adjust the wheel segments to, to match the depression created by the tractor tire so that across the length of a 40 foot cultivator you can adjust the center section to equally match the wing sections, even though the center section is following in the depression of the wheel track of the tractor. So you end up with very excellent seed beds and very easy to set your planting and seeding equipment behind one of these S-tines. One of the other attributes or, or uses for an S-tine cultivator where they excel is for the incorporation of herbicides uh, and fungicides. The vibrating action of the tines uh, is particularly uh, adept or useful at uh, mixing, very carefully, thoroughly mixing the chemicals with the soil. And because you're able to run so, you know, quite shallow, you keep those insecticides, you, you keep the aside products uh, concentrated in the, in the upper layers of soil in the germination, seed germination zone. So they're very effective, uh, particularly effective for use as an incorporation tool, uh, not only for fertilizers, but for fungicides, insecticides, and herbicides as well. One final thought on the Nestine cultivator, and, and this may seem a little bit off the wall for most producers, especially those producers that aren't acquainted with them. Uh, these, these tools do create excellent seed beds. And in certain parts of North America, producers where they're accustomed to air seeders will equip these tools with air kits to apply fertilizer but also to apply cereal grains and they're known, known as seed bedders uh, when they're equipped with air kits. Now I, I know that defies all sort of conventional thinking but uh, in, in a conventional tillage situation the seed bed characteristics are so good uh, behind these tools that the harrow finishing systems can actually close up and germinate just as many seeds as you would from a, a conventional air seeder or planter. So it's not something you're probably going to rush out and buy a tool for that purpose, but if you have one and you're using it to apply fertilizers, don't be afraid to throw some cereal grains in it and try it. Uh, you've got nothing to lose and everything to gain.